Look, white girl Angelina Jolie sitting in the cut my dog's blow weed. Welcome to this video. This is the introduction to Bootstrap. Let's master Bootstrap in five minutes, guys. Let's do it real quick. So this is it. This is literally it, guys. This is it. This is the ebook that I've been working on. It's called Free JS Essentials. So for any of you noobs and nerds out there who are new to this, please listen and attend this quick lecture careful. So what is what is Bootstrap? In the world of Bootstrap, the, it is the front-end toolkit that has revolutionized modern web design. Bootstrap is a free and open source collection of tools for creating websites and web applications. It contains HTML and CSS based design templates for, for typical tip typography, forms, buttons, navigations, and other interface components, as well as optional JavaScript extensions. Let's just scroll down here. Importance in modern in modern web design. Um, what else? What else? What else? Importance in modern web design. In the fast-paced realm of web design, Bootstrap stands out for its for its ability to create responsive. Uh, responsive mobile-first projects. It's a framework that ensures consistency across various web browsers and devices, making it an indispensable tool for web de for developers and designers alike. An overview of features. Bootstrap offers an extensive list of uh, features, a responsive grid system, powerful plugins built on J jQuery, extensive pre-built components, and, ro and robust documentation. It is designed to kickstart the, the development of web-based applications and websites. And understanding the grid system, guys. <clears throat> containers, rows, and columns. The grid system in Bootstrap uh, uses containers for layout purposes, and uh, rows are used to group horizontal sets of columns, ensuring proper alignment and spacing. Columns then are the fundamental building blocks housing your content. Responsive design basics. Bootstrap's grid system is responsive. It scales your content gracefully to different screen sizes. This system is based on a, on a 12 column layout, which adjusts according to the screen size using media queries. Layout examples. Let's look at some layout examples. I'll definitely show some later on, guys. Uh, notice how the elements, yes, you will definitely notice that. Exploring. Exploring Bootstrap components. Common com common components. Bootstrap comes with ready-to-use components like buttons, navigation bars, and forms. These components are customizable and are designed to provide functionality with minimal coding. Implementation in web pages. We will definitely show that later on. Customization tips. Although Bootstrap component components come with a default style, they can easy they can be easily customized. Overriding the default CSS or extending it with your own classes allows you to give a person allows it allows you to give a personal touch to your project. Uh, utilizing Bootstrap uh, utilities. Yeah, let's <clears throat> Bootstrap. Quick style adjustment with CSS class. Boost, uh, Bootstrap's utility classes are powerful feature. They enable quick styling adjustments for margin, padding, text alignment, and more, all without writing custom CSS. Customization, boot, customizing Bootstrap. Customizing components and themes. Customizing Bootstrap is straightforward. You can modify its built-in components and themes to suit your design needs. This is where Bootstrap's uh, true power lies in its flexibility. Using SAS variable variables for deeper customization bootstrap uses sas variables this allows you to, to change the look and feel of components globally making your design consistent and unique uh, and whether it's uh, tweaking a button's color adjusting an app uh, an app bars layout these small changes can can always make your website stand out effective application and best, pra uh, best practices starting with basic uh, Basic templates, beginning your bootstrap journey with basic templates. Understand the structure and slowly integrate more complex elements as you, as you get comfortable. Building up complexity as you grow more confident, start experimenting with more complex components and layouts. Remember, bootstrap is both powerful and flexible, capable of handling simple to complex design designs. Uh, focus focusing on mobile responsiveness always prioritize mo mobile responsiveness because a lot of people nowadays they use the phone to visit websites with bootstrap ensuring your site ensuring your site looks great on all devices is straightforward but it re requires a mobile first mindset always keep that in mind so uh, conclusion mastering bootstrap key takeaways to master bootstrap 
understand its grid system, utilize its components and utilities, and embrace its uh, customization cap capabilities. What else? Encouragement to practice, guys, to become good at anything or master anything. You always have to <laughs> practice this. I'm sorry to say, but you have to put a lot of hours and work into it. The more you experiment with Bootstrap, the more proficient you will become. Don't be afraid to try new combinations and layouts. Closing remarks. Thank you for joining me and this in this exploration of Bootstrap. And remember, guys, Bootstrap is a tool to make your web design journey smooth and more efficient. So happy coding. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. See you on the next one.